Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. In today's episode, it's a happy episode but it's also a very sad episode. I'm saying goodbye to two of my beautiful angels, my marbled angel and my superior black angel, this one over here. I've had them right from the beginning. And um, I'm quite sad to see them go, but they're busy chasing away my discus, and I don't like that. So I'm going to introduce you to the guy who's going to take him, and I want you guys to go to his channel. I'm going to have a link down below to his channel. His name is Dan's DNA. So this is Dan's. Dan's, mine. How's it, guys? So Dan's from Dan's DNA again. No, uh, if you don't mind, stand on this side because I think the camera is going to get a better angle, and just. Look into the camera and tell them what your channel is about. Basically, it's uh, saying pretty much what you do. I'm um, just more focused on the cichlid side of life. Uh, my biggest focus at the moment is a big 9 foot, 1250 litre cichlid tank. Um, I've just done a video about my flower on and my video, my channel is just going to take strides from there on majority cichlids. That is my biggest view, but there will be some things coming up. And today's video will actually you'll get a small glimpse of my planter tank, where these guys will be going to meet their other angel friends. <laughs> so I have seen his channel, guys. It's fantastic. Now, if you think this tank is big, Dan's tank is almost three times the size. Almost his sump is about the size of my tank. So have a look at that. And I'm really, really excited to see how my little angels or my big angels are going to sort of coexist with these small little angels. So that's it from me, guys. I'm going to leave you to have a look at how we catch them and transport them safely to Johannesburg. So I live in Pretoria, Dan's live in Johannesburg, and that's about 70 kilometers. So for a fish, that's quite a while to go. So let's start. I'm basically just going to take all of this off now. Uh, if you want to get your box, box, and now you can see the naked this. side of my tank. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's not that bad. I've seen worse. Uh, what I am going to do is, in the future, I want to plan a nice canopy. But because I've got an overhead sump here, a canister filter, and a few other filters inside. It's a bit difficult to build a canopy here, um, mainly because of this monster. So I need some ideas. So if you guys have some ideas, put it in the comment section down below. And what I want you to do, if you are subscribed to me, Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, who by the way also won a prize in my last competition, she's got a very, very good idea. I don't know if you subscribe to me, but uh, what you can do is just put a little smiley face in the comment section. That way I can go over to your channel, check out your stuff and also subscribe to you. So let's start with this catch a fish. So Dan, if you want, grab some of my RO water and uh, grab a lot. I think you might actually need to put one fish in That's why I've got two bags. There you go. <laughs> do you have rubber bands? Because I've got them as well. I do. Alright. I do. Okay, so get some water. I think I'm going to start on this side with the black angel. Yeah, with marble. Right, I've got her. I think it's a female, by the way. No, you can pop on the head. Okay, and there you go, sweetheart. Just don't stress. <laughs> yeah. Now that's why I've got towels at the top there because there's going to be a lot of water going down here. Okay, now for Blackie. My friend does this. Right, I've got him here. Yeah, I'm still bagging him. Are oh, you still bagging? No worries. Try that splash. That splash. So one of the main reasons, guys, why I'm getting rid of them is this tank is big, but it's not big enough. As the discus are growing, they're going to get a little bigger than that, maybe even bigger. And even the big size of the angels now are not going to be big enough. So they're the bosses in the tank at the moment, but they're stressing out my other fish. 
And I really do not appreciate that because some of these fish have cost me a lot of money. Do you have uh, stress really? No, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Right. They're quite hardy. I've been swapping them through tanks and... There you go. People don't give angels enough credit, eh? They... A lot of people see them as soft fish. And... Yeah. I'll argue that point. I have a couple of friends that actually have angels in like indoor ponds. Like, you know those plastic Serious? pools? And it's pretty amazing. Probably twice about the size of my hand that way. These ones are on the way. So basically guys, this is where I say goodbye to my angels. From myself and from Dan. Dan's want to join me again if he's done on that side. Um, thanks for watching. I will include, just before the end of the video, a small little uh, snippet that Dan's is going to send me from uh, his side. How the fish go into his uh, aquarium. Thanks, Leon. Fish are great. They're going to go in my tank now, I've acclimated them, and this is their home to be. Beautiful marble. Very energetic, like twice the size of my fish. <laughs> but beautiful. Very fast, deep, even in this little box I can't get him out. Beautiful one. As you can see, fitting in very nicely here. Uh... Anyway, thanks, Leon. And guys, please hit that subscribe button and please do me a favor and go check out Leon Latachan's channel. Thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much guys for watching. Remember to click on the subscribe button, your bottom right hand corner, that's my little face. That would be right about where his hand is now. Click on that to subscribe to my channel. And I'll put a link in the description below and also if I can, right over here to go to Dan's channel. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.